So I have this Panasonic fax machine, model KXFP250, and it won't power up or anything. It has no power whatsoever when you plug it in. So I'm pretty sure there's a problem with the power supply. So we're going to take it apart and see if we can fix it. So the way to get into the power supply on this fax machine is you can remove this and you can flip the fax machine over and you can just take this little thing out there and you pull out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws and let's see, we'll do that real quick. Yeah, I'm a little rough on it. And you just pull that cover off. And there's the power supply. And to get it out of there, you have to pull out these three screws here. This board will come off. And then there's some more screws in there to get the power supply out. So, let's see. We will take this one out. Get that glare out of your eyes there. I guess it's, it's a pretty shiny board. Get that one out. And then this one out. And then this board has a connector on it, so you just kind of slowly pry it up. And that screw, that screw, this screw, and that screw. And then the power supply will come out. And you can pop this connector off on the other side. There's some tabs in there if you want to take that connector out so you can power it up using that connector. Okay, so here's the power supply removed from the fax machine. And I powered it up, and then I checked the voltages on here. And you can see here, it says ground, 8 volts, 24 volts. And then there's uh, on negative and on positive. Anyway, when I checked these voltages, the 24 volts was going, say, between 10 and 15 volts, and it was pulsing. So this indicated to me that there was some problem with like the startup circuit on this, since this is a switching power supply. So I came on this side and I checked the, the this is a TL431, which is the, the voltage uh, regulator chip or something. And anyway, I checked all the diodes. I checked, uh, you know, all the diodes. I checked, uh, of course, the fuses. There's one there and there's one over here. And uh, like I said, power was getting through. And then uh, I went ahead and checked this capacitor. And this capacitor was was bad. It was showing 16 ohms ESR and, uh, or sorry, 6 ohms ESR. And uh, it wasn't close to being its uh, correct capacitance. Uh, these are Rubicon capacitors so i didn't bother pulling them and checking them and uh, i think they may just be filters but anyway um and so then i also checked this one over here and this was the one that had 16 ohms esr and then uh it wasn't it was what it was off a little bit on its capacitance as well so i went ahead and replaced those two capacitors and then powered it back up and checked the voltages, and the voltages are correct now, 24 volts. And then, oddly enough, I'm not getting 8 over here. I'm getting a little bit more, but it could be because it's not loaded down. So, 
I'm going to install it here in a minute and see if the fax machine will power up. So I thought I would go ahead and show testing these capacitors. So here's the first one. Let me see if I can get it in here. This one says it should be 47 microfarads at 35 volts. So let's go ahead and plug it into the tester here and give it a, give it a spin. And you can see that it shows at 44 microfarads, but the, but the ESR is 17 ohms. So that's way out of tolerance. So we'll pull that one out. Our second contestant here on the capacitance is wrong is a 0.47 microfarad, 50 volt. So let's plug it into the tester here and give it a spin. And you can see that it shows 490 nanofarads, which is probably somewhere like 49, but it has an ESR of 6.2 ohms now. So it's, uh, it's definitely bad as well. So it was those two capacitors that were uh, keeping the power supply from starting. So now let's install that power supply into the fax machine and see if it works. All right, it's all put back together and the time is set. And I don't obviously have a fax line for this to test this or a fax machine to test it with, but I do, it will do copies. So I've got paper loaded in it and this, this uses like a carbon film. So I don't want to use a whole bunch of it since there's not going to be much left. So I got the paper in there and it's double sided. So that's why I put it face down like it said. And then let's hit, um, copy we want one copy and let's see what happens i haven't cleaned it or anything it's pretty dirty so let's see if it works looks like it's trying There's our original, and there's our copy. So, not the best quality, but then again, this isn't probably the best paper for this. And uh, I don't know, there's printers from the 1990s, so that carbon that's in there is probably pretty old. Anyway, there's the repair of the Panasonic. Um, fax machine can't remember what model it is but for assistance call 1-800-HELP-FAX hope this is helpful to somebody